My friends, Coach Tom here. I'm about to give you the most important video lesson that you will ever watch. So, check it out. One of the biggest things that most recreational players have an issue with, feeding. We have to know how to feed a ball, you guys. It's ridiculous some of the stuff that I see out there. Actually, I shouldn't say that. It's not ridiculous because nobody's ever really shown you how to do it. So today, I'm going to. So you'll need a couple of things, obviously a racket. I'm using a bucket, little Home Depot bucket, that's fine. It's just a target, the idea of having some sort of target that you can aim for. And then you're gonna need a handful of balls. I would recommend having at least a couple of cans. Um, if you're watching these videos and you're out there practicing, Definitely just go get a case or two of balls. Order them online, whatever. Make sure you buy real balls, not pressureless balls. Those don't count. Um, but when you do this, you're gonna to wanna to obviously have your racket, get yourself a court, some type of target, and a handful of balls. So let's first understand what is the purpose of a feed? What is a feed? What is a feed versus a serve? Serve, it's how you start the point. It's an overhand shot that you're gonna start the point for an actual competitive point. A feed is simply a ball that you drop and hit to start a point, whether it's a practice point, a competitive point, whatever it is, not in an actual match, an actual competition. So if you're out there doing drills, you wanna know how to feed a ball. And the idea, the, the purpose of the feed, again, it's not to, you don't wanna feed and try to win the point. You don't wanna to try to create an advantage with your feed. The feed is simply meant to start a point, start a rally. Whatever it is that you guys are working on, the feed is meant to start that. You obviously have to be able to get the ball in play in order to start playing. So a couple things I want you guys to understand. Open racket strings, right? I don't wanna see you guys standing back here doing these big old top spin crazy things to start a point off. It's, it's inconsistent, especially for us as recreational players, and it's not really the best way for the opponent or for, the, for our partner on the other side to start that point off. So you wanna have open racket strings, right? Lean that racket back a little bit. And it's simply gonna be a very small, easy bump swing. That's all you're looking for. Now, when you're hitting this feed, I want you to try to aim for the service tee, right? Service line, center line, where they create a tee, that's where I want you to aim. Hit that ball four, five, six feet over the net and just drop it in there so that your opponent can initiate that point. Now, that'll obviously change based on where you are, if you're working on volleys, if you're working on overheads, but the basic gist of it is open racket strings, bump that ball up over the net and land it right about near that service tee. The other side of this, if you're the person receiving that feed, don't just go blasting that first ball, right? Most of us can go ahead and hit a winner on that first ball. That's not the point, we're drilling, we're working on shots together. If I give you a feed and you hit a winner, we're not getting a whole lot accomplished, are we? All right, so it looks like this. Open racket strings, hold the ball out in front of me, drop it and bump it. That's it, okay? Very, very small swings. Make sure you're not dropping that ball like way back here, right? You can see I'm gonna end up kind of with this sort of swing. We wanna basically, not basically, we wanna hold the ball out in front of us and drop it in front so that we can step and make a nice, easy swing. So let's try a couple, here we go. And I, look, I've got really big hands so I can hold four balls at a time. I'm also a teaching pro. I've been doing this for 20 plus years. I wouldn't recommend you do that. Just a thought, just a tip, but Ball out in front, small backswing, drop it, step, and bump. Ooh, I got one. Drop it, step, and bump. That's two in a row. Drop it, step, and bump. Uh, that's three in a row. Drop it, step, and bump. Oh, I missed that one. All right, that was pretty cool. I hit the bucket three times in a row. Not expecting you to do that at all. Anywhere within six, eight feet of that target, that's perfect, that's all you're looking for. Again, the idea is to get that point started so you can practice whatever skill you're working on. So remember you guys, keep it simple. Open racket strings, small backswing, a little bit of a bump over and near that service tee. That's it, keep it fun, keep it simple. I'll see you guys next time.